out for a good run out today, 4-0 win. What's your take on that? Yeah, it's a, it a, a really good workout for us. Um, bad shot Lee put up a real good stern test for us, so it's just what we needed. Um, credit to the boys, because I thought they were really professional. Um, they're six days in a row, um, that was their sixth day in a row today. So the idea is to get fit and get the fitness, and to do that, we're overloading them. Um, we've over overloaded them a lot this week. It's been a real, we call it almost like a, a shock week, where we put a lot of volume into them. Um, but also we've been doing some tactical stuff, a lot of technical stuff, so I was really pleased to see some of that come out. Um, I said we blended the teams, you know, we had a mixture of signed players, trialist and young players in, in, both, in both halves. Uh, I think everyone equipped themselves really well, but the, the mentality and the attitude was what we're looking for today, and that, that, that was spot on. And um, like I said, the, uh, you know, we're trying to get fitter and stronger and faster, and we, and we, and we certainly um, got really well challenged by um, you know, a really well organised, hard working, bad shot lead team. You can see that with both teams. Obviously, you played two different teams in both halves, and I think the experienced players came in and did a really good job in co coaching those younger players and also leading from the front as well. Yeah, and I think that, that was great to see. It was the, you know, you wouldn't guess that there's trialists and young lads in there. They really worked hard as a team and, and worked together. Obviously, there's lots of refinement to do, um, but then we look. You know, but what it is is that you can see that it's it's all there. It's just a matter of refining and improving all, all the time. But the the main basis after, you know, our sixth day in a row was to keep on with the fitness, come through unscathed. Uh, and start to just put the building blocks in place. Of course, it's great to come to these local sides and give them a bit of a day out for fans as well, but also looking at the first half, the pitch maybe sort of saw us take a while to get going today. Yeah, it was a little, look, bad shot, Lee, like, you know, great host for us today. You see there's a real great atmosphere in and around here, and, it, you know, it, we're really indebted for, um, you know, them hosting us today. And then, But, yeah, they've done a great job with their pitch, but obviously a lot of grass, quite dry, so it is, and, and long, so it makes it quite quite slow and when you're trying to beat a really well drilled resilient team you either want your individual players to dribble and drive past them um, but with the long pitch that was quite difficult or you've got to be really punchy with your passes so it was, it was a slow pitch but everything we wanted in, in pre-season tough opposition uh, you know a nice pitch but a slow pitch made it even more difficult so we've um, faced plenty of challenges today and um, like I said we're just putting the building blocks in place and uh, but what I was most uh, pleased about was 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 the lads' uh, attitude and and their reactions to you know turnovers and things like that because it's going to happen. Also a bit of a slow burner in terms of action you know, goal wise, but four goals towards the end of the second half, two for France as well. Great moment for them. Yeah, I think you know really well worked goals. I think we were unfortunate with the disallowed one. Probably Tommy was a bit disappointed not to get a penalty in the first half, which was. Uh, a uh, good one, but again, these, these are these are good things. Like we had to react to a lot of different situations today, which was, which was good. But yeah, I think the first half team had, you know, we had a lot of possession today, um, and we, you know we worked it, and probably the first half team pumped up the tyres, and the second half team almost come and rode the bike and probably got got the fruits of of the first half team wet wearing them out. So uh, you can't read too much into it. Like I said, we had two well blended teams, first half and second half. And um, we've got a lot out of the fixture, so uh, I'd like to thank Bad Shot Lee for, like I said, for hosting us and uh, putting up a stern test. But um, yeah, we we move on to Monday now, another big week where we can start to build on, on what we've done so far this this week. And also another goal for Justin as well. Good to get off the mark on the first Old Shot Town appearance. Yeah, re really pleased. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for people to build confidence and embed quickly. And uh, there's, there's no better feeling than scoring a goal and uh, get the confidence going. But I, I think. The lads looked, uh, they looked confident out there, they all wanted the ball and, and like I said, just, just some refinements as we get to build relationships on the pitch but we're also building those off the pitch as well but um, as, as first weeks go I, I can't uh, be more pleased with uh, with the lads, the way that they've come in, the way they've gone about their work but also the way that they're sort of building a, a good team spirit amongst them already. I suppose that's the final comment, obviously, from today. You know, you're starting to see a bit more of a mold, Mark Molesy side, do you think, out there today? It's very, very early. In, in, it is a, it's it's going to be a new a new team. A new, a new, um, it is going to be new. I, t I said that we were going to freshen it up. I think we've certainly done that. Um, but, yeah, look, I think there's, there's some positive signs there, thing, things to come, but plenty of hard work to go yet.